There are ending to movies, then there are ending to movies, then they are ending to movies. This is the latter. Um, this ending, I'm not sure how I'm going to talk about this one. Hunter Hunter is a film directed by Sean Linden. I don't think I've seen any of his other films. If I have, I don't know I did. This is about a family, husband, wife, and a daughter, who live way off the grid. I mean, in the woods, no running water. They have to go to the stream with bales to carry water back to the house. There's an outhouse, and they're trappers. They have snare traps around. They trap a different game. They skin them. They bring them into town, and they sell them. And it just isn't a way of, of making a living anymore. The daughter, she's been, it's been her whole life. She's almost 13. It's all she knows to hunt, to trap, and she's homeschooled. And that's what this movie really focuses around, this family. Now, as they're hunting, a season or so ago, they had a problem with a wolf that was taking their game. The, the, the rabbits, beavers, whatever, would get snared. They'd find the trap carcass or just the bone of a, of a foot left of these animals and they're starting to see signs again of this wolf coming back the father goes out to hunt the wolf and find something else uh, i don't want to go into a, just an explanation about this what this movie is if you watch the trailer you get a good sense i went in not seeing the trailer so i wasn't sure where it was going it, it's it's a lot of levels here uh, how easy be the hunter can turn into the prey the prey into the hunter um, through multiple levels. So yes, you have this story about a wolf and the dad going after the wolf, but he finds something else, which is basically a crime scene. Bodies of women in different states of decomposition, and it looks like somebody, a killer, has been dumping these bodies way out in the woods, hiding them. So now he's hell-bent on not only dealing with his wolf, but catching the person who's doing this. This movie's tough. It's not gonna be for everybody. I really like the dynamic of the family, the, the relationship between the daughter and the mother. The mother's played by Camille Sullivan. The daughter is played by Summer Howe. And the dad, he's really good too. It's played by Devin Sawa. The acting's excellent. The look of this film is really good. They're in the woods. It's winter, it's fall, it's cold, it's damp. You get that feeling. I really like the father explaining to the daughter. She's very capable already but um teaching them about wolves and hunting wolves hiding their scent what they can do what they can use around mud and a, a plant that they can chew on that hides their breath so that the wolf has a harder time picking up the scent there are a lot of underlying themes in this film i still got to unpack them this is a lot i saw it yesterday and i'm still figuring out what the hell i watched um, there's a lot of dynamics the daughter's a strong character the mother's a strong character the father's a strong character, and I like that. There was no sense of someone couldn't handle themselves if something went down. But it is a, it's a film about intersection. And I think I'm like jumping around here, where you have the wolf just being a wolf, and they're hunting the wolf and they have to deal with it, and then the dad going off and dealing with this other issue, which he hadn't told his wife yet. So they get separated, and that's when things go wrong. Because there was things that frustrated me about the film, just certain things they didn't do, like the father didn't tell the mother and daughter about certain things, and then the mother doesn't tell the daughter about certain things. You're like, why? Why is this? <laughs> you were frustrated with them, but you kind of understood why they wouldn't tell each other what was actually going on. But the ending is what makes this movie. This is an ending that I have... There have been endings to movies, and this isn't shocking to me, shocking... This ending is grim, bleak, brutal, nasty, you name it. Man, and it, it was unsatisfying and very satisfying at the same time. But wow, the last 10 minutes or so of this the sequence is just... Wow. Wow. But there's just something so unsettling about it but so satisfying about it what a performance at the end by camille sullivan talk about flipping switch this is not going to be for everybody so would i recommend seeing it i would it is bleak and grim this is not going to be a feel-good film 
for you at all. This is lingering. This is, I don't even know how the process is ending. And if there's a hum starting, I apologize. The heat's kicking on. It's winter heat. Now, it is about hunting. So if you're kind of squeamish about animals being killed and skinned because the father teaches the daughter, then the daughter shows the mother how to skin certain things and, and, uh, and prepare it for meat to eat. That If you're squeamish about that, this, probably, this film isn't probably for you. Uh, but yeah, I would say, let's see it. This is solid performances. The movie looks good. And you're never, whether you like the film, while you wind up liking the film or not, you're never going to forget that ending. Ever. It's going to stick with you for a long, long time. So that's my take on Hunter Hunter. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for stopping by. Hit the subscribe button if you like what you're seeing. I'm a small little channel, so the more views and likes helps me out. I just love talking movies. Um, I don't care if there's three people watching or a lot of people watching. Uh, I appreciate it. Thanks. And remember, support indie films. It's important. And until next time. Perfect.